All right. Oop. Do I make you big or have you small? Yeah, yeah, no. Go ahead. Show me off, everybody. Hi. How are you, dear? Hey, woman. Ah, so you're out of space today, huh? <laughs> well, that's how I feel. Um, first off, I just want to say hi. It's been a while. Been working um, uh, with a holistic doctor, as I told you, um, for for everything that's been going on. Um, and I've seen a lot of progress, like shitloads of progress. Uh, so a lot of the inflammation is down, which is allowing for a lot of things to not be on. Good. So the fuel intake is starting to balance. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. yes. She's working on me hormonally as well. So, you know, it's been six weeks now. I'm doing good. Uh, good. The last three days, I've been a complete clusterfuck. Um, really? Just um, a lot of a lot of issues surfaced, a lot of shame. Uh, based issues surfaced. Um, yes. And today was pretty intense, and I feel very discombobulated, literally, like if I'm off kilter. Uh, kind of feel like my left side is pulling more to my, than my right. I feel just really out of balance. Okay. I am looking at several different things, but <clears throat> you have what's called beside yourself. So in a response, in one of your defense mechanisms that you feel beside yourself. Do you understand what I'm saying? But how yeah, many yeah. do I see you, Kevin? I see three of you. There's like, so I'm going to look for a trigger response. And there's something that always happens. The word always has popped up. And when always pops up, you have a contraction. Like okay. for me, I have a, shh, quiet. And it's like, and then I can feel the, the response within myself, my defenses mm -hmm. and everything go up. You have something just like that. So whatever your trigger, your trigger has something to do with work again. <laughs> well, that's good. It's not in your house. That's good. Okay. Uh, it did start there. I didn't think about it. It did start there. Yeah. And what happens is when, when that repetitive thing gets pushed, so it's like an installed button, it always happens. Somehow there's something is that you go into discouragement. Mm. Okay. Okay. So for whatever's sense. going on, you don't, it's not even thinking about that. You go into your automatic response of feeling discouraged. And then that kind of bleeds into everything else. Yes. Yes. It's like the thread. Yeah. They said when that discouragement begins to happen, you go into very much um, what is the right way? There was the wrong way. In order yes. to, because what it bothers you is that your stability starts to change, not the uh, safety and security, it's the stability. Mm -hmm. So then it's like, oh, what's it? you go, I hear you go straight into a judgment thought. What's the right mm -hmm. way? What's the wrong way? Now we'll go a little bit further. And there's a part of you that just feels like you're deficient at making this stop. Yes. And when I'm looking at it, it's not even about whether it's right or wrong. It's I can't make something stop. Now, if I ask a little bit further, the main thing that makes you discouraged, the main thing that makes you go into what's right and wrong is the word disapproval. Mm. So all those other things work are there. They're all together. You just get tired of being disapproved of, which is a whole language that your body is addicted to. Yes, yes. And you have to have a certain, and I'm gonna ask, what, what emotions are you completely addicted to? And they said two. And it has to do with about, can I expand myself as Kevin? So when you were about three and a half years old, you couldn't really expand yourself as Kevin and you have this depressed energy, mm. okay? When I asked, what are you addicted to? And they said, having to be corrected mm, so you're correcting yourself because you've got to constantly correct yourself there's always a problem you got to constantly correct yourself can you see how this is right there can you feel it yeah it's like it's like the, like the work in progress and just kind of living like embracing yeah, it too much right there yes yeah. so th there's always a problem there's always something there's other, okay and i feel like like when you're growing up, there's always a problem. There's always something that you just like, no matter what you did, if I did this, it's always a problem. If I do the wrong way, it's always a problem. If yes. I do it, you know, my, yeah, you know, my story. So yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. It keeps going on in that little, little segment. The second emotion that somehow are magnetically together is that self-pity. <laughs> okay. Now, and this is, I can't 
and it has to do with expanding. Chem I can't be me to some degree. Do you understand? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Now, if you're addicted to this, that means that your emotion, the RES, the energy magnetic field, the, the reticular activating system, because thoughts are electrical, emotions are magnetic. When the emotions increase, you're going to start drawing situations to you. Then the thoughts are going to increase. And then you, your filter of when you're three and a half, that you have to look at people. I knew they were going to do that. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Yes, yes, yes. I've been, I've become more aware of that child mentality. I, it's like, I, I, it's almost as if I can see him now. Good, good. See, this is the manipulating behavior. I'm going to change yours before you change mine, or I'm going to change mine before you can change you, you before you can change it. I'm, I'm going to show you, I can do this. Stop putting, you know, there's a lot of chaos. The child is irrational thinking is holding itself prisoner because it could not understand, cope, handle, deal, and pacify with what happened. Well, there was no tool for the three-year-old that's crying. Okay, we have to learn to teach our kids how to simply even just do this one. So one of the things that your kind of mood in certain ways is, is that you're vibrating. I just start vibrating. <laughs> that's all I can tell you what that feels like. Yeah, no, you're right. But where does it affect? What organs does it affect? It affects the, the small intestine, and then it goes in and it affects the gallbladder, which then turns around and affects the, the, the bladder, which then turns around and affects the large intestine. So if I had the wheel in front of me, which I figure I need to make one, is that you, you have would. a story of how there's always this metal energy that can never be fed properly from, how do I want to put this? Let's see if I go... Okay, so when you have all this grief, you have that grief that goes nowhere. Okay, you got no one really to talk to about it except for yourself. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can see how that is a little kid. So as you're trying to reach for some supporting factor, okay, you're not getting it. All you are getting is the emotions that are coming back instead of going in and flowing out. So you're just, right. Again, again. So what they I, want you to what's do- What's happening in my sleep now? Again, like the whole like sleep apnea kind of thing is kicking back in again. I call it yeah. that because it's the closest thing that I can describe it to. Right, okay. And again, yeah, because your body's gonna stay in that pattern. So we have to start breaking it. And that is you're gonna have to start doing L1D and making sure you that you don't, I don't know what to do. You were the little kid amongst all of that I don't know what to do. I'm damned if I do, I'm damned if I don't. And if I did, you know, and I gotta, I gotta keep looking and I can't, and I gotta fight, fight, fight because, and so then your body is, in a, is always in a process of correcting, fighting and being in remorse. And it's, I, you know, with those two addictions, it is that you're conditioned that you have to stay this habit. Again, to break this habit, they're telling me that you need to make sure you begin to I don't know what to do. And you literally drop into that. Okay. Okay. Because you're trying to control it. You're trying to fix it. You're trying to correct it. You're trying. The little child, when it was exposed to this, in such a sense, it was exposed to the fact that the mother didn't know what to do. The dad didn't know what to do. You didn't know what to do. And so you're all were playing house. Mm. And then when they all went into their little modes of not knowing how to do it, and then all of a sudden you, you again, then go, I don't know what to do. Your mind, I need you to drop into the body. When your body wants to go into that habit, why do you keep searching out? Because your body says, we don't know what to do, but it's also addicted to it. Now you've been seeing results. You don't want to go sabotaging that. No, you finally I don't, are I don't. figuring out what fuel you need to put in the body properly so that it can then do the detoxing so now we got to start getting that physical to match because your physical can't get fixed until you take care of the mental, emotional, and the spiritual. Mm -hmm. And that's what you're doing with me and with her. Uh, you're, you're looking at the physical aspect on with whether it's food or a detox or you're balancing it out. Um, a little bit of everything, actually. When we get exactly, time. because it's not one thing. That's why I'm glad you found her. Okay. <laughs> it took a while, but you finally got the alignment. Yeah, yeah. That's what we wanted. You're so, right. She said it. She's like, wow, you got multiple things going on, Kevin. 
Yes, and it's because each one of those is because you're beside yourself. Now, in order to do that, you have to allow yourself to hold L1D and really notice that you always live here. I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do, but you need to go back. You can heal L1D there, but you need to go back to when you're about three and a half, four, and just notice that it was how you have to match everybody else, how I'm supposed to act, how I'm supposed to do this. And then the other time of the age is when you were six. Again, it's that you had a bad experience, you stored it. And so that's where a mood will come in. But that you're okay so you're verbalizing everything that i was observing today because i because i was finally able to observe what was happening i just couldn't make the connection between what i was experiencing what i was seeing and how i just felt so discombobulated excellent excellent you can now understand that this is same shit different day and it just picks it up so what you thought the day before will show today and what you thought the day before will show today and if we can start to take these manipulating behaviors that are within ourselves and start to change them, catch them, like that's why it takes time. Okay. Mm -hmm. But start off with L1D. So, I don't know. L1D. What do. All right. Sounds good. That's Thank it. you right. for everything. All right. Welcome, honey. We'll talk to you soon. All right. Take care. Bye. Bye bye. bye. So thank you all for sharing, caring, and loving. Resolve to evolve. He learns to deal. You can heal that. Heal it to heal it. When in doubt. Heal it out. And when I'm doubting. Make sure you heal that shit out and grab a tool. This simple little tool here, OMG. And please, always do your best to stay blessed. Stay blessed.